Um, oh, I've just had a little flash. Is that a, is that a warning on memory? Don't know. Okay. Oh, and the uh, minute hands. Um, I didn't realise there's coloured rivets for the minutes on the clock. So that's kind of neat, neat detail I didn't notice before. Yellow car. And a uh, broken bit on the clock is, remains broken. And of course the car clonks out. Lone Pine Mall because continuity, um, temporal continuity is a thing. And it's kind of neat. Um, Doc being, Mike being sad about Doc, the big reveal. Oh, so there's a whole thing about how fast he might run um, to from the town square to Lone Pine Mall. One, we don't know how far it is, but also some of the criticisms are like, well, this is like a slacker kid. Yeah, but he's not unfit. Um, as far as I'm aware, running a skateboard everywhere, that you build up muscles, but also Marty is going full pelt. And he is tired. You can see his red face. You can see he's sweating. So yeah, he, he was exerting himself to try and get there in time to save Doc. Which, as he finds out, you didn't need to worry about anyway. But um, yeah, so any criticism about Marty not being able to run that fast? Well, he was motivated and he did show physical exertion. Um, I'm not saying you said that. I'm just saying it's a criticism I've seen. Uh, Marty sleeping in an awkward way. Definitely woke up with a dead arm. And he's wakes up going wow what a weird nightmare he was there for a week he knows it wasn't a dream so that's a weird line well delivered but weird line and then a nice character moment where Mike does actually deliver or well, you see an envelope where he's going to post his demo so what is it he thinks it's a dream or he doesn't think it's a dream so again that is a weird line uh all different oh. again the makeup the aging makeup is good effects but this time they look healthier um, with the aged makeup, but still not as good as they look today. Um, they're they're all aging really well, so kudos to them. Uh, Marty gets his truck because yay, and then again gets cock blocked, but this time by the doc, by Doc, and sequel baiting. Now here's an interesting thing. Uh, again, I'm watching off the Blu-ray. The original, I don't think it's the UK theatrical release, but. My original VHS, I'm pretty sure my DVD, and any other UK release, I think prior to this one, had the to be continued after roads where we go, we don't need roads. I have to say, that's, that flying effect, that still holds up. But in this Blu-ray release, they've actually taken out the um, to be continued, which was never supposed to be there in the first place. So that was interesting. And then the greatest theme of all time ever. That was... I didn't read everything on this. We are at 36 minutes. Yeah, short version. Excuse me. Short version. This is an awesome movie. It's a classic for a reason. And I know when... I don't, this is not a conversation we're actually having, but when people say about reboots and remakings and things like that, someone always turns around and says, well, yes, but don't forget the originals still exist. And that is true for pretty much everything that's been rebooted and in some cases the reboots are probably better I mean how many people remember that um, the Judy Garland Wizard of Oz is actually a remake so it's it's a thing however everyone says Back to the Future should not be cannot be re rebooted I agree with you for two reasons one it is a product of its time while still being timeless and two the Bobs, um, Gail and Zemeckis, have said they don't want it remade. Then, as for as long as they hold on to the rights, it ain't getting remade. So, good for the Bobs. Um, there isn't. How do I feel about it not getting remade? It shouldn't be remade. I did see a cute, cute um, clip um, of Michael J. Fox at a convention, and someone suggested that Back to the Future Four could be starring his son Sam. Um, apparently, Sam's a hipster and is working on apps. So, hey, well done. Well done, young Mr. Fox. You you do you. Um, but, yeah, so, in conclusion, it is awesome. If you haven't seen it already, you should totally go watch it. I know I've kind of gone over, stepped over my spoiler policy about, you know, but we're going, we're going in order, and there's no twists. Um, yeah, so, that was long. Um, I don't want, I never want it to go this long. So, we're going to, we're going to try and wrap up here. We're already at 38 minutes. Again, please, if you haven't already, at Phoenix11, please do go and follow me there. 
And if you enjoyed my incessant rambling about one of the greatest movies of the 80s ever, um, then please uh, like, share, subscribe, talk to me. You know, I like, I want to, I want to see what people think and, and do this. And then, as I say, a bit long, a bit rambly. I'm aware of that. I'm still new. I'm learning. We're going to grow together. Okay. So, yes. Um, follow me. Like, share, subscribe, all that groovy stuff. And I will see you in Back to the Future Part 2. Bye, guys. Thank you.